Companies and clients work from different places, cities, states, countries, and every place has its own calendar. Let's say that some places work from Monday to Friday, and some other places from Tuesday to Saturday, or from Sunday to Thursday. It doesn't matter where you work from, but you need to have your own calendar. And that's why we have calendars in GLPI. Every time you need to create some holidays or special events you have in different places that you support using GLPI, you can create different calendars for these places. And for sure, adding closing times for their calendars. So let's say you have a business working hours from Monday to Friday and have holidays that are different depending on these countries. Let's create two calendars for two different entities and add some holidays to these calendars. First of all, let's define a business opening period. And this is made navigating through setup, drop downs, and inside drop downs, you can use the filter to type calendar or you can just navigate through calendars and click on calendars here. Here you have just one calendar created and we are going to create a new one. So let's say this company works from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and works five days a week. In this scenario, this company will have a calendar from Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. After I create the calendar, I click inside the calendar and I add some time ranges. And this time ranges is where we are going to define when is the time to start and the time to finish. Important, if you have a break for lunch, for example, you have to insert more than one entry for the same day. So let's say in Monday you work from 9 a.m. to noon, and then from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m., you will insert two entries for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. From 9 to noon, and also from 1 p.m. until 7 p.m. And I will insert it for every day that I work on my company. So this company that has this business opening hours from Monday to Friday, from 9 a.m. to noon, and from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. is done. But let's say that we have some holidays or sometimes that this company is closed and we don't want tasks to be scheduled during these times of holidays and not even SLA is expiring during this time. This is why we have the closed times. All of the closed times are created before and after we have created them, we can insert them on calendars as we wish. To create closed times, we are going to navigate on drop downs as well, go to calendars and then closed times. We can create new ones as we want and we can also use a plugin called holidays which is available for all of our subscriptions and also on glpi cloud network first for creating holidays we are going to click on add and then type a name let's say proclamation of the republic in brazil this is a holiday in brazil and it happens on november 15th and it is recurrent. What it means is that every year we have the same holiday and I don't want to add it every year to my calendar. I just will add it one year, the first year that I want it on my calendar. The end is also on the same day. If it goes like five days, six days, you can add more days here. After I've created these close times, I can go back to the calendar that I've created before and add this close time to this calendar here on close times proclamation of the republic in brazil in this scenario i have a calendar for 9 a.m to 7 p.m and with a holiday i can insert more holidays if i want to but let's say i have a different calendar for a different country to make it easier i will just add brazil here i will hit save and then i will come back to calendars and type here let's say as an example friends i will save it the time ranges would be the same but the close times would be different and i will add the fête nationale française in drop downs calendars close times add a new one type fête nationale française that happens on july 14th 
and it happens every year. So it means that every for July 14th, it will be a holiday. I will add it and then also on drop downs, calendars, calendars, close times, I will insert the Fête Nationale Française. In this case, I have two calendars for two different companies or people that work in different places. But now I want these calendars to be part of my workflow and to be added to the entities that are from France and entities that are from Brazil. In administration entities, I can define a calendar for all the entities that I have in assistance. I can just click here and insert a new one, like a default or any of the calendars that I've created before. Or I can go to each entity and define what is the calendar or inherit of the parent entity. I don't want it. In this case, it is 24 per 7. I don't want it. I want it to be, in this case, Brazil. I want it to be the Brazilian calendar. So it is Brazil. And I will hit save. And to the other entity called France, I will also define the calendar to be France. Every new task now that is defined to be scheduled on a date different than the calendar is defined will give me an alert that this is not a working business hour. And also all the SLAs and OLAs will also postpone their expiration time, taking into account holidays, weekends, and everything related to this calendar. SLAs and OLAs is something for a new video. If this video helped you, consider liking it and subscribing to our channel to keep you updated on new videos and new tutorials that we have here on GLPI projects. See you around!